Hello guys, Kim Jong Lee here with another episode of Piper's Adventures through the Cup of Barbarians <clears throat> tournament. Um, and we have Piper here again playing as Numidia, and his opponent is Terrible Turk um, playing as the Scythians. For this battle, uh, the Numidians have 15.5k and the Scythians have 13k. And that's because Scythia is very favoured against Numidia. Um, it does almost everything better than Numidia except probably the infantry, but it more than makes up for that with the archers and the cav it has, so that's why there's that denari penalty in place to kind of make it more even. So we'll run through the builds quickly here. We have Piper with four of these Numidian cavalry, which are the jav cav. Um, he has four Numidian camel riders. He's chosen not to take any of the long shield, uh, long shield cav yet, um, because... Uh, they're not very good against the Maidens, so if he ever gets into some kind of cavalry engagement, he'd much rather have these camels here um, than the long shields. This, uh, he's, this is also probably why he's taken more Numidian cavalry, because it's much, it's much easier to kind of harass with Numidian cavalry, since they have skirmish mode and the javelins, whereas the long shield cavalry, you have to kind of charge them and micro them around a lot more. So, yeah. And also these guys are just cheaper and very well standard overall, so not a bad choice at all. Six gold gold archers and these infantry are the Numidian legionaries, so not the desert infantry we are used to seeing him bring, and he's really looking to leverage that infantry advantage um, however possible. Terrible Turk's build, however, is fairly standard. Um, he's got the Scythian horse archers here and here. Uh, so gold attack on those. We have six archer war band and uh, two chosen archer war band um, with decent upgrades. Uh, might I think all of these might just have attack upgrades. So that's an interesting choice from Terrible Turk. Um, actually, they're all chosen archers. My bad. I can't. I can't, I can't count for some reason. One, two. Three. So four chosen archers and four regular archers, and they've all only got gold attack. Um, we've got these maidens, of course, and maidens are very devastating. Um, they are gold, gold. So that's probably why he's had to skimp on the archers a bit uh, for the maidens and the peasant unit, probably just to fill up a bit of money. We'll get the battle started here. I don't want to drag on too long with the introductions. Um, just see how each player moves. If I was Piper, I'd really be looking at a more passive game, um, really just taking my time using my uh, Numidian Cav <clears throat> to get as much of an advantage as I can, take care of this Scythian Horse Arch, the Scythian Horse Archers on the sides probably, um, maybe get in on the Archers a bit with these Numidian Cav before I try to um, push in with the Infantry and the Numidian Camel Riders. Uh, so really using these Camels and Infantry as defense for most part of the first game, uh, most first part first part of the game. Um, if I was Turk, uh, really just want to get in there and start shooting, really, and then try and sustain that for as long as I can. Um, <clears throat> use these cav units, these headhunting maidens, which are really great as defense. Um, really also focus on these uh, Numidian cavalry units and not these uh, camels. The weakness of camels is that they're very very slow compared to their cavalry counterparts so you'll see them coming a mile away and they'll take forever to catch even one uh, archer unit so they're not very effective at chasing down archers and I think with that in mind Terrible Turk uh, can, is free to kind of focus on these Numidian cav um, and defending against those instead of the uh, camels. Um, he's also got, he's still got to be careful of the camels of course, but uh, I feel like the camels at this stage are a much better defensive unit than an uh, aggressive unit. We have Piper here though taking some space with these um, Numidian legionaries and getting his archers into range. Uh, these chosen archers with the long do have longer range, but now that's gone. So um, these regular archers are going to be able to shoot them. If I was Turk, probably g I would put these chosen archers <coughs> behind, uh, further back than the regular archers, so that um, when terrible Turks archers get in, they have to kind of run further in order to get to my chosen archers, and that could cause problems for uh, Piper. Sorry, got my names mixed up. 
But Piper's gone in here and taken out one of the Scythian horse archers. And Turbo Turk here with the headhunting maiden. Probably not paying enough attention to this flank here. Um, really should have more maidens there. As I said before, these camels really not that much of a threat. Um, they're fairly well upgraded and um, very decent, but not the best offensive units. And it's very unlikely that Piper is going to try and be super offensive with them early in the game. Piper here is just reacting really to Terrible Turk, who has managed to get one of the archers and is going to be able to micro that away. Probably a mistake there by Piper. Um, we have the Numidian Cavalry here, going to catch the Scythian Horse Archers which have come back, so again a missed micro from Turk. This unit was bound to come back, it routed with 20 plus men, so it was very likely going to come back. Uh, again, missed micro here from Turk, uh, the Maiden's getting caught by these Camel Riders. Not really what you want, the Camels are quite slow, but you, have to still, you still have to pay attention to them in order to uh, run away from them. Um, these legionaries though are getting shot a little bit and Piper is not doing so well on the missile war so Turk has that going for him. Um, <clears throat> these maidens though, uh, need, he, uh, Turk needs to be very careful with them because he's only got six and they are the mainstay of his force um, apart from maybe these chosen archers. So th these Scythian horse archers uh, shooting away here in Cantabrian Circle, but they're not really getting shot at, so you could probably take them out of Cantabrian Circle at some point and maybe just concentrate on shooting these Numidian Cav instead. Really needs to pay attention to this Numidian Cav because now it's just going to go for his horse archers and it looks like Turk isn't seeing that, um, that threat. Uh, so these Numidian Cav, again harassing and trying to lure these headhunting maidens into the range of these Numidian camels. Um, again, Piper is actually being fairly conservative with these camels, and yeah, it's working out for him. He's protecting his archers quite well with them. Let, letting his, um, as I said before, just letting his Numidian cavalry do the work. Um, and it seems to be doing pretty well for him on this side, but not so much on this side where they have been caught by headhunting maidens. Maybe Ms. Micro by Piper. Um, not sure on that. <clears throat> but uh, it's not too, it's not terrible. It's not like um, end of the world that Piper's lost these two units. Um, but uh, it, it, is a, it is not good for him. Uh, he would really probably like to have kept them a while longer, if only to chase this Scythian horse archer. Um, this horse archer is going to route though. Very nice catch by Piper there, and definitely a mistake um, by a Terrible Turk. Piper should chase that down. Ten guys is still pretty threatening. Probably will come back. Um, so it looks like Piper's going to get caught there, so definitely a mistake. Um, we have these Numidian legionaries now in loose formation. So it's fine, just screening off and uh, mitigating that missile damage. And Turk poking around with these headhunting maidens. Um, I think he needs to play much more conservatively with these headhunting maidens. Um, he's got the missile advantage, he can just sit back and let his archers do the work and really just focus on protecting the archers. Um, not really necessary for him to try and get even more of a missile advantage because uh, now his cab is probably just going to get shot a bit. Um, although Piper's cab is getting shot to bits, uh, actually. Um, these Chosen Archers really doing a lot of work. Uh, we have Scythia. <coughs> Some Scythian Headhunting Maidens getting routed there by the Camel Riders. Uh, very nice combo with the Numidian Legionaries there. Nice push by Piper. Turk not getting out of the way in time. Um, Turk now going for some of these isolated archers here. Good opportunity has opened up. Piper's redirected a lot of his camels to that side, and that's opened up a spot here. So nice pick by Turk. Um, nice pick off there. Headhunting maidens, 19 of them left. They should come back um, with so many men. If I was Piper, I'd probably try and chase them down with this, but I think it's a bit too late now. They're too far away. Um, yeah, we have these maidens microed uh, fairly well by Turk, taking them, bringing them back. Uh, these Chosen Archers, though, probably a bit vulnerable. And, yeah, Turk needs to start bringing some of these Archers back. I don't know where this one's going. Um, but some of these Archers need to start coming back and shooting at the infantry or the camels. 
Um, and he really needs to start preserving these Headhunter Maidens. If it comes down to a last stand with the infantry and they're in a box or something, um, the Maidens are going to be very, very important. <clears throat> Uh, because in that situation the archers won't be so good and this is a very big mistake by Turk charging uh, not charging probably just getting caught yeah that's devastating that probably is game breaking right there uh, two headhunting maiden units getting routed just like that for free is pretty pretty terrible for Scythia um, it's pretty tough for Turk now uh, Piper's Piper's going on the offensive now he's just throwing his uh, camels around um, he knows he's got the upper hand. <clears throat> Going to try and chase down some of these hunting, head hunting maidens with this Numidian Cav unit. Um, probably get rid of this chosen archer warband as well. And yeah, Piper knows he's got the upper hand. He's just chasing things around for fun. Even putting these archers into melee probably just to weaken these uh, head hunting maidens that are remaining. Not many of them are left. There is the general headhunting maiden unit, which is still very plentiful, so Piper has to watch out for that, but his infantry is so highly upgraded. Um, I'd still be cautious, though, and try and keep them closer together, probably. Um, Numidian Camerad is here. <clears throat> Gonna charge this headhunting maiden unit, which is probably mismicroed. Um, and the maiden is going to route. Um... We have legionaries here. Is that a legionary unit? Yep, getting picked off. So, what I said before about keeping them together, really important so that these kinds of things uh, don't happen. Um, but uh, Piper is still doing pretty well. Um, Turk has got his work cut out for him now well, with these legionaries still left. Uh, but it, it is still a fairly close game. Um, the legionaries, because their infantry aren't as good as cavs, so uh, Turk still definitely has a shot. Turk looks like he's going for this. I'm not sure why, because Piper looks like he was microing those at the time, so I don't know why you would charge them. Uh, I was... Don't think I don't think terrible Turk has enough. Dudes to kind of just cause an instant rout. Did some pretty decent damage, but when you do that, you kind of want the a pretty fast route, like in a couple seconds, you want it to route pretty fast. <clears throat> now they're all uh, in a blob, which is good for Piper because you know consolidation when you have the advantage is always very good. New Zealand Camerider's tired here, as I said before, very terrible at chasing archers. Had to chase into the very very edge of the map to just uh, just kill one or two units and finally route it probably so Piper here has to play conservatively with these Numidian legionaries Turk uh, has to play with these archers and really just shoot these infantry units but I don't know if he's got arrows left he should I'd imagine so the chosen archers are out of arrows fair enough um, but these headhunting maidens don't look like they'll be enough to kind of take care of this blob. Um, so he needs archers of some kind. Looks like it's just these archer warband left that actually have arrows though. Which is unfortunate for Terrible Turk. We've got these camels as well that now outnumber the headhunting maidens. Oh, they don't outnumber them actually, they're about the same. Maidens have more, alright, I concede the point. Uh, there are a couple more Maidens, uh, but they can probably still fight head-to-head -head, uh, with the Maidens. Oh, there's another unit here. Yeah, might be fairly even. Uh, if he can get the Camels together, uh, it'll probably be an even match for the Maidens. We've got a Chosen Archer Warband here, but 10 guys could be a bit of help, but not too much. Uh, that's going to be an insta out on the Chosen Archers there. Archer Warband here, probably out of arrows by now. So Turk might just be throwing them in. Uh, for fun, uh, dying, routing to Peeler, not very impressive, uh, not, the morale's not so good. Turk charging into the infantry here is in a last ditch effort, but not working out for him, not enough cav left, not enough impact. So well played to Piper, um, another very close game, uh, so well done to Piper there for kind of pulling it off. <clears throat> um, yeah, Scythia generally favoured. Uh, but with the Denari penalty, I guess it's evened up a lot, and we've seen a lot of these close victories come out of Piper's games, so 
good job, uh, whoever made the table and things like that. It's been pretty effective, I'd say. Um, and yeah, well played to, ter to Terrible Turk as well. Uh, I know he's mainly a 31k player, so um, good effort in this CWB game. And I'll see you guys another time.